Hey guys, I uh, wanted to chat with you about an incident that happened yesterday that could be relevant for you. J just before I jump onto it, one of the first things I just want to say is all of this stuff is hard. It's not easy to do. And there are going to be times when your buttons get pushed and you react in that, in that instant because it, it enrages you, it ticks you off. Um, you need to be prepared for it so that you recognize it when it's happening. So hopefully you stop yourself. And if not, that you can recognize it and then deviate from it. So this will be a little, little bit of, I guess, a story time just to kind of talk about what's going on. And uh, as you guys know, I'm getting ready to head up to, uh, head up to Northern California to meet up with Debbie for the long weekend. Um, you also probably are aware that the transition times for, for my situation is on Fridays. Now, when the kids are all in school, it's not a big deal because they just do it at school. I drop them off at school and they're done. However, my 19 year old who still transitions back and forth, uh, that's not the case. So in the past when I tried to do this and it fell apart, I was like, hey, go to your mom's, um, see if you can go to your mom's on Thursday and uh, then it's not a big deal. Just drop the kids off at school, have everything packed up and head on out. So yesterday, which is transition day, uh, normal, which is Wednesday, I'm not sure what day this video is gonna come out, but so on transition day, when uh, my son gets home, I ask him, hey, so are we good to go on uh, for tomorrow? Are you going to your mom's tomorrow? And the answer was no. And I had that instant, immediate negative reaction and uh, said some things I shouldn't have said. Um, you know, part of it is, is, you know, my son's 19 years old. He's an adult now. He's not a child. So, um, you know, I have a little bit more frank conversations with him. But uh, it, it, it irritated me. It made me angry. Um, you know, part of the thing with this is that, uh, you know, the previous week, uh, he announced to me that, uh, you know, mommy has to go to Wasteland Weekend, which is this Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome uh, thing they have out near where we live every year and she dresses up as <laughs> as one of those people and goes out and was gonna uh, help set up and everything almost like a job but it just got her free admission and uh, it was like one of those things where well you have to go to your dad's earlier because um, I'm not gonna be here right and it, it's, it's never a question it was just like this is how it is and it though it was annoying I you know I accommodated I'm like all right you got a key you can do whatever so when this came up and, I, and he said no, she said no, it really irritated me. And I, let me just check my notes here. So um, yeah, you know, I mean, so she said no, you know, kind of goes back to my boundary video the other day where I was talking about the power of no, but uh, a little bit different in this situation. It's about manipulation and, uh, and control, right? I mean, she can say no, so um, knows it's gonna be complicated for, you know, it's just one of those things. You can never count on these people to, to, to give you any reason or anything like that. And, and I know from past experience, from chatting with her, that she was not going to tell me anyways. You know, it's just the, if, if she has the ability to say no, she's going to do it. Um, the other flip side to this little note I, I made is uh, that I just recently found out that her, her relationship of a few months or nine months or so has fallen apart. And I was thinking the other day, I mean, initially it was kind of a little bit funny. And then it was like, oh crap, if she doesn't have another source of supply, that means she's gonna you know, retarget her energies back to me. And uh, I'm sure that that plays a role in it. But one of the things that, that I wanted to, to talk about on this is, uh, you know, so I had that flash of anger. That's what I wrote down. I got a flash of anger. I always, it always seems like I'm the one who has to bend. It's the one, I'm always the one who, who, uh, who is in the double bind. Like I was talking about before with, with happened to make the adjustment last week. It's like, it's, it seems like it's always us who has to, whatever decision we make is gonna be a bad decision or it's a, it's a cost to us where it seems like they get away with everything. And I did actually ask my son at one point, I'm like, do you hold her accountable for anything? You know, do you, do you know, you argue with me and you get angry with me and you lash out at me, but do you do the same thing with her? He said yes, but I mean, I think we all know that the reality of that probably is no, because there's probably more of a consequence for the breadcrumbs that they're trying to get. So 
The good part about this is I immediately did calm down. Probably it was like maybe a five or 10 minute thing, even if it was that long to where I got angry. I calmed down, I apologized to him. Um, I even jokingly said that I would uh, probably make a video out of it. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, to talk about how not to handle this. <laughs> and, and that's really the thing is you, you've, I should have anticipated that the answer was gonna be no. And I should have prepared myself so that I could work around it, right? That's what I always tell you guys. And that's ultimately what I'm going to do. I'm either going to uh, take him over there um, tomorrow morning um, or I'm going to, wow, nice bird. Um, or I'm going to uh, let, it, let his mom pick him up, you know? And hopefully he'll shut the door and, and uh, secure the house. That's the only thing I'm a little worried about because I'll be, you know, 400 miles away. Hold on a second. So getting back to it, just working, work out a solution to where it, it mitigates it. Uh, you know, the only risk I really have is if, if she picks him up, um, if he doesn't shut the door right. But fortunately I have an alarm system now, so I'll know if the door's open. I have cameras so I can see what's going on. Uh, worst case, I might have to get somebody to come over to the house to shut the dang door, which is kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is. And that's the thing, we just have to work around it and, and not get wrapped up in how, and not get wrapped up in how they just seem to have zero consequence. They can do whatever they want. They can do, do well, whatever. The, I keep forgetting about having to record around here on the flight line. So the thing is, don't expect your ex to, to work with you on anything. Don't expect them to communicate with you on anything. If there is a way that they can say no, sometimes they'll say yes, but then they'll throw, there's, it's not, you can't count on it, right? And anytime you really wanna count on it, it's gonna be annoying. In this situation, uh, in the past, whenever this happened, um, I was more prepared to work around her saying no. This time I wasn't really thinking about it. I figured it'd be a no brainer, wasn't worried about it and had my plan on how things were gonna go. Um, and uh, I fell for the trap. And you know, I think the thing is, we all gotta be prepared for it, recognize it. If you make a mistake, try to catch yourself and roll it back around as quickly as you possibly can to minimize the damage and minimize uh, the triangulation that they're ultimately gonna try to do and uh, make the most of it. And that's what I'm gonna do in this situation. I have a couple of backup plans. Um, I've calmed down, I'm not really that worried about it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. So on that, I just wanted to throw it out there just because it's an example of how, you know, even somebody who talks about this all the time can still in that moment, in that instant, whenever your buttons are pushed, have that negative visceral response. So when you have that, don't beat yourself up on it. Try to recognize it as quick as possible. I can tell you in the past, it would have taken me a lot longer to get over it. I would have been angry. I mean, in the old days, I would have been angry for days on this. Um, actually, in the old, old days, I probably would have sent off an email, you know, giving her a piece of my mind, which accomplishes absolutely nothing. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. Hopefully it helps you think about your situation and maybe how to mitigate it and uh, work around whatever BS they're trying to throw at you. Um, on that, I would love to hear how you've dealt with these situations and, and what techniques you use to kind of get yourself back on track and maybe what you do to get these annoying crows to uh, stop trying to be in the video. And uh, I'll chat with you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.